Monsters. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous. So, in today's fabulous tutorial, we are going to be making these cute, adorable little bundles of Happy Mail. Now, these little bundles of Happy Mail are super easy, super cute to make. Now, just so you guys know, this is not my idea. I have seen other crafters making these little bundles of mail and i was like those look really easy to make so i thought to myself i said self and i said hmm y'all should make some for yourself and i and so i did because i knew that maybe you guys have probably seen some videos out there of people making these but you've never seen me make them and today you guys are going to see it and i'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make these little bad boys we're also going to be making some little cute little um bows that we are going to use a die from our stash. And um, <laughs> and so we're going to go ahead and use a die from our stash. And I'm going to show you how to make these two little embellishments. And why are we wasting time, guys? Let's get down and dirty because I know you guys won't get down and dirty. So I will see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, my little crafty monsters. Let's get down and dirty and make these little bad boys right here. So these are the little bundle of Happy Mail that we will be making. I think they are adorable. <laughs> and this is the tutorial you guys have all been waiting for. And it is here. It is here. So these are the dies that we're going to be using. These are the little envelope ones and the bow ones. And if you guys don't have any envelope ones or any bow ones, um, there are lots of ways for you guys to go ahead and make these little envelopes. We're gonna go ahead and get our Sizzix and we're gonna go ahead and run the dies on these little um, bows because we are gonna be making three little bows with our little bundle of mail. And, um, and so we're gonna go ahead and run this out of this white glitter paper, that metallic gold, and then that DSP paper that I printed out. Now, um, back to what we were talking about. As far as the envelopes, now, if you do not have a die to make an envelope, um, you could definitely go onto your Cricut machine and cut out an SVG file of a few envelopes because I know I've done that a few times as well. So I do know that there is an SVG file for little envelopes. You just have to size them and make them to whatever size you guys want and then just have your machine cut them. Now, if you don't have a Cricut machine or a cutting machine, then what you can do is you can um, print out a, uh, like an SVG file off of Google because there are a lot of um, files out there on Google that will you can use as a template. So you can go ahead and um, print out like a little template off of that and then use that to make your little envelopes and if you don't have a printer then you can go ahead and use an envelope punch board because i think the envelope punch board makes a pretty fairly small little envelope now i don't know how small they make them they might make them a little bit bigger than this but as long as your embellishments are not bigger than a regular rosette i think you're fine i just decided to make them you know that small because that's the size of my die. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab a white piece of cardstock and the cardstock that I'm using is 110 pound and this is from Walmart. Now this is not the same 110 pound from Recollections because the Recollections one is super thick and this one is considered 110 pounds also but it's not as thick. So go ahead and use something that's um, thin anywhere from 65 or lower to make your little envelopes and the reason why I suggest that is because you want them to be on a thinner paper cardstock so that they look more like original little envelopes and if you do use a cardstock that's pretty thick and heavy then it's gonna kind of show you're gonna be able to tell and it's just not gonna look you know like a little organic envelope so I would recommend to make them on a thinner paper so, um, for each little bundle of Happy Mail, I am making four, four little envelopes. Sorry, I got a little tongue twisted out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm making four envelopes per bundle. Um, now, 
There is no right or wrong way to make these little bad boys, honestly, to tell you the truth. So you can go ahead and either do four or you can do as many envelopes as you guys want. We're just going to speed up this little process here because all we're doing is cleaning out those little bits from the die. Anyway, so you could you can stack as many as you guys want. I just found that four little envelopes per pile was enough to, you know, make them look like a little bundle. So, like I said, it's really up to you. And I normally make like about four little bundles per package of embellishments. Just so that, you know, they have a little bit more. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to go ahead and bend this little ribbon with our bone folder. And the reason why we're doing this is because we don't want any crease marks. We just want this to be a nice circular kind of bend. And so the reason for that is why that's why I'm using the bone folder. Now, if you guys don't have a bone folder, you guys could definitely use the edge of your desk. Um, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and make our little envelopes. So I'm folding them on the creases. If you guys notice that this little envelope has a little opening at the very bottom on the outside of the envelope. Now, that was designed because the die set that this has, that this comes in, it um, it's designed so you can cut a little piece of cardstock um, and stick it out of that little that little opening right there so it can make it look like the little card is kind of sticking out of the envelope but for this project we're going to go ahead and cover that up i'm going to show you guys basically how we're going to do that it's just really stacking the envelope on top to where you're not going to be able to see that little envelope so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the hot glue and we're going to go ahead and fold in those two sides and the bottom flap and then i'm just going to put glue on that very corner of that little top flap and then I'm going to go ahead and just hold that down with these little clips. Now um, I'm not gluing the whole entire little envelope because I want it to kind of stay a little bit puffy, a little bit bulky if that makes any sense just to make it look like there's something in that envelope and it's not just an empty envelope and um, that is the reason why I'm just putting glue on that very little um, corner of the little point of that flap. Now, these are little clips that you guys are going to be surprised on where I purchased these. Yes, I got these from Food for Less. They were not from Walmart and they were not from Home Depot. I found them at Food for Less. Oh. <laughs> I was walking down the aisle just minding my own business with my little <laughs> shopping cart. And I came across these little bad boys and I was like, what? I could totally use these for my crafts. <laughs> and so <laughs> I bought these for them. Anywho, so we're going to go ahead and put this little bow together. Now, I'm pretty sure that you all have put bows together. So now I'm going to use my little tool to kind of round off that little. See, this is what we were trying to prevent when I was using the bone folder. But Jesse's chubby hand kind of smashed it and it creased it. But anyway, it's still savable. I mean, it still looks cute. We can still use it. So we're definitely going to keep using it. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and use hot glue because the hot glue is pretty fast and it's pretty permanent. And I want this to go a little bit quicker. So, we're going to go ahead and just use that. Now, you guys could use any kind of glue. I mean, just make the bowls the way you normally would have made them. Um, rather you be making the bowls out of a punch board or if you have your Cricut or if you're using a die, whatever it is, just go ahead and build those little bad boys however you want. The only thing that made these look a little bit different was when we added that rose in the middle. And I don't know, that rose just kind of gave them this certain look that was wow. It was wow, my friend. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was cute. So, anywho, I'm sorry that I'm making you guys look at this whole entire process of me putting these little bows together. Because some of you are probably looking at this and like, uh... Jesse, we know how to make this. I know, I know boo-boos, I know. The only thing is, is that I didn't want to just make those little bundle of mail. I wanted to do some other little element with this tutorial. So I had to make, excuse me, I had to make these little bows 
So I just said, why not just film myself making them anyway? I think that these bowls are super duper adorable. This gold one is my ultimate favorite, but you guys already know that gold is one of my favorite colors. Not on jewelry. I don't like gold jewelry. I just like gold elements. <laughs> gold accents around the house or gold accents in your project is amazing. But anyhow, we're almost done with this, my little crafty monsters. Don't be rolling your eyes at me. Come on. We're almost done. And then we're going to get to the good part. You know, that part where we start making those little bundles of mail. Which, honestly, to tell you the truth, I'm pretty sure you guys have already figured out the way it's going to go down. I mean, honestly, I looked at the picture on Pinterest. I saw a video of somebody um, receiving a little package of these little envelope bundle, the little bundles of mail. And just looking at them, my brain was like... Those are easy. I already know how to put them together. So I'm pretty sure you're already looking at this and you're like, um, I already know what he's going to do. Yes. Yes. It's really easy. So right here now, I'm just going to go ahead and add these little roses into the middle of these bows. And I don't know. Just I really, really love how this looks, guys. My little glue kind of is acting a little retarded there and I had to take out that excess glue that it had right there. So, um, so like I said, adding these little roses just gave it that extra little something that these little bows needed. You could add so many different things to this. I mean, there's just so many little elements, but you know, these little roses were perfect. Perfect. So now that we're done making these little bows, we can go ahead and get started on the little happy mail. Yay! <laughs> Calm down, my little crafty monsters. Calm down. So, now that these little envelopes are dried, we are going to slap these little bad boys with some vintage photo. And the reason why I'm going to slap these with the vintage photo is because we want them to look a little bit distressed. A little bit like they were dragged through the mail and... Maybe, you know, they fell on the floor a few times and or maybe the little bundle of Happy Mail has been sitting right there on your desk for a few years. And so we kind of want these little envelopes to look a little bit used and weathered. If you want, really want to get all crazy with this, you could probably use a off-white cardstock and then hit this and they're going to look a little bit more um, vintage looking. Or if you want to get really, really, really crazy, crazy on this, you could also tea stain the paper before you cut out the little envelopes. There's just so many ideas that you can do with these little bad boys, but they're so easy. And so just slapping the edges with the little um, vintage photo kind of makes them look a little vintage. <laughs> so see where this opening is at? I'm going to go ahead and put glue in the very center of this envelope and I'm going to go ahead and stack the very first one with the flaps going upward. I'm going to stack it to where you're not going to be able to see that opening. And then from here you're just going to alternate the little envelopes going certain directions. One laying down one way and the other one laying down the other way. And you want to do this so that they you can see the corners of the other envelopes and this is just so that it you know, it gives that illusion of the whole little stack of Happy Mail. Once you have this done, this is already almost done. We're just going to go ahead and wrap some organic twine around this whole entire little bundle. I'm going to go one way and then I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to go the other way so that it's a crisscross, if that's what it's called. I just made that up right now. Was that good? I know. I know. <laughs> So after we do this, we're going to go ahead and cut off the length that we need. And I'm not using my regular scissors, so obviously these were giving me a hard time because they don't really cut that great. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and feed that little twine in the very bottom of that. And then the other one, I'm going to feed it at the bottom of the other side. And then I'm going to tie those into a knot. And then I'm going to also tie those into a shoe, shoe bow or whatever it's called, a shoelace bow or a little bow or Jesse stop it stop trying to make up things you don't even know what you're talking about I really don't my little crafty monsters whatever it's called 
So like if you were tying your shoelace is what I'm trying to say. See, you could have just said that from the beginning, Jesse. <laughs> but <laughs> anything. <laughs> so go ahead and tie your little wannabe bow and then just cut off your little, you know, excess. I'm going to pull out my real scissors, the real bad boys. And just cut off the little excess right there, boo-boo. And then I'm going to use these little flowers that I get from Z99 Scent Store. These are those little tile flowers. You guys have seen me use these before. They come like in a little square tile in the little plant section. And I just cut off a little branch. No need to bring that whole tile because I'm just making one. And then I'm going to feed this to the very bottom of that little twine. I will be adding a little glue on the very center of that and then I will pull it underneath the twine. So basically what it's doing is it's securing that little flower and it's also gluing that twine down and it's holding it all in place so it doesn't unravel. Then I'm going to go ahead and get my little gel pen because I'm going to go ahead and write happy mail and then an XOXO on the very bottom of this little envelope. And that's just to give them a little something, you know, like somebody wrote on these little envelopes. So right here, I'm just spelling out happy mail. And then on the bottom, I'm just going to write XO, XO. You could do whatever you guys want. You guys could stamp these. You guys could, I mean, the possibilities are endless. And these are the little happy mails. I hope you guys like these and I hope you guys try these out because they're super easy. And this is what you've been waiting for. There you go, my little crafty monsters. I hope you guys like this. Welcome back, my little crafty monsters. That's how easy it was to make these little bad boys. I think these are my ultimate little favorite. I swear to you, I'm gonna be making so many more of these little bad boys because I think they're so cute. And I mean, who doesn't want to make those little guys, right? They're, they're adorable. So anyway, that's how easy it was to make these. I hope that inspires you guys to make some for one of your little swapping buddies or one of your little boo-boos. Or maybe if you want to make some to make like a little cute project or whatever. I don't know. I mean, but super, super easy. And I hope that inspires you guys to make them. So... That's it for now, my little crafty monsters. I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Because I did make I did make it from the bottom of my little heart, boo-boos. And um, if you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for, my little crafty monsters? Hit that button or that button. I don't know which, which side. It, hit the button. Hit it. Because it's free and we become BFFs. And you're going to love being my BFFF. So <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much, my little crafty monsters. Don't forget to share and tell a friend because your friends also need to know how fabulous our tutorials are. And that's it for now, my little crafty monsters. Until next time, goodbye.